guys i'm back and i'm going to do this short video over some of the things that i picked up here this weekend okay i'm going to start with my trauma charlie's purchase it's going to be a real quick video so i get up here so i can watch teen wolf when he comes on and eat um i went to trader joe's and in the same little segment as trader joe's they also had a new big trauma charlie's and next to that they had a love culture y'all i did not know we had love culture and um, Trader Joe's and stuff like that, but anyway, let's get on to it. So they were having this big clearance in there, so I'm gonna start with this one. Let's see. Um, I, in the clearance section, they have this purse. Yeah, I am. Isn't this so classy and chic? Like with like, oh my goodness, a cute business outfit. You would look so the bomb and so chic in this. Yeah, this purse is the bomb. And it also had a matching wallet. It was like this color on the flat, like. And then the quilted leopard print um, with the wallet. But I didn't want to get the wallet and the bag because um, I didn't want it to be too much over the top. So I just got this. And it opens like this. And you just get the inside with the extra strap. You get the device pocket and some zippers. And it's a nice size. And like I said, it's very cute and chic. Like with the zippers on the back, the purse was, a, the purse was originally... $39.95 guys and it went down from $39.95 to $19. They had an extra 50% off on everything in the store. So after the $19.99 it went down to $10. $10 even. It was 50% off every clearance item. So I picked up this bag. It's the bomb. I love it. You guys are going to see this in the outfit of the day. Next, they had they were like they were doing the sale to clear out all the fall and winter stuff to bring in the spring stuff. That's what it was seemed like they were doing because they had a lot of boxes of stuff they were bringing in towards the back, and they had a nautical area. That's what I want to say. They had like a lot of nautical pieces and you know anchors and stuff like that. So I picked up this purse. Let me get it. Yeah, I don't like when Charmin Charlie takes out the stuff. Leave me with the stuff. So, I picked up this bag. Love it. Isn't this so chic? I like when everybody's starting to make it like wide out on the side like the Celine bags. I really think that is cute. And as you guys can see, it's anchors on the front of it. Quilted with anchors. And it's the pocket right here for you. And it's all blue in there. And like in this one, you get your device pocket up that way. And you get your zipper. And the back just looks like this. It's a smaller bag with this very pretty and it's very deep you can put a lot of thing in, things in there and just has studs on the side they had a lot of nice thing in the nautical area a lot of nice purses and anchor earrings and anchor chains and just a lot of the blue and white stuff which I wanted they had like a chain link necklace it was really really pretty guys so I'm thinking about going back to get that this is my second time recording this video. I actually had my other item that I bought from Charm and Charles actually was in the packaging, but I bought some extra things and I decided just to make one full video. Y'all have been looking for a face cover like this for God knows how long. Now I know in Charm and Charles you can get your iPad cases and your i um, phone case and stuff in there like that. Y'all, this thing was originally fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars, and when I see it everywhere it's at forty and fifty, people trying to charge an arm and a leg. The original price, and I'm going to show you guys, was $15, if you can see it up there, $15, and sorry guys, this bag was original price, it was $39, um, yeah, $39, so I didn't get this on sale, this is, a, I think, one of their newer items for their spring line, and it was $39, but the phone case was $15, but on the back of it, it was $6.99, on the little pack, it was $6.99, I'm like, oh my god, is that my phone? Is that for my phone? I was so excited. I was asking my husband, like, is that really for my phone? And yes, it was. And it actually had it for the S4 and it had it for the S3. So they had it for both of my phones and a whole bunch of very pretty ones for the iPhone. And guys, they're on sale for $6.99. So uh, if I get this video up really, really fast, yeah, I'll go get on that sale. So yeah, it was $6.99 on the back. So my stuff rings up $70.80. I'm like, mm, something about that ain't right. It ain't right. And I'm going to the car, like, something about that ain't right. Let me see my receipt so I can um, figure out the price because something about that's not right. So I look on it. She actually did charge me the $15 for the phone case instead of the 6 So, you know, I already know I went back in here and got my $8.78 back 
that they owed me because that phone cover was $6.99. So, yeah, I get there to get the bags and the cases because I know every girl likes the pretty girl girl cases and everything, and they actually $6.99 all over. So, yeah, even the iPad case. So, I just went to Walgreens and I picked up makeup. Y'all know I ain't did makeup in a minute or lipstick products and stuff like that. So I'm just going to start. I went in, I think Fergie had um, a new collection with new lip gloss and everything. This is a Wet n Wow, what was it? Something varnish. And this is um, from the Ferg collection. And this one is called Giving Realness. I love, love, love the name of this because it's a new lipstick. Um, well, actually, it's a uh, varnish high shine lip stain from Fergie. And it's like in a new color and it's called Giving Realness. Y'all know I always drop everything. Because I'm trying to rush to do this video. But anyway, I don't like the texture of these guys. You put this on your lip, it goes on super wet. But then when you put it on, it goes on thick and you can't get an even application with this color. And this is what I have on my lips now. And I done played and tweaked it. And as you can see, it looks crazy up around here. But it goes on super wet like water and then it always gets thick and sticky all of a sudden. That's crazy. That's the wrong consistency. It should be thick coming out and then go to like a cream type shit. Y'all, this thing won't. It, ugh, I hate it. The color is cool if you can get it to actually come off and pay off to be nice. And this is it. And it's giving realness from the Fergie collection. Move on. I picked up another one for her and this is called Street Queen. And it's like a pinky purple fish color. And this one, my lips were stained. So I really couldn't get the good payoff to see what color it actually was going to be on my lips. Because like I said, I had tried on another one and my lips were really stained. So I'll give you guys to really see it. Yep. And that's Street Queen. I picked up one from... The Revlon collection, I think the person was Gucci, somebody, I can't remember the display. And actually, the tag, I think what the name of this came off. So guys, you might have to Google that collection or look on YouTube for that collection. It's like a dark burgundy color with a whole bunch of glitter specks in there. I don't know if you guys might be able to see that, but I'll put it on my hand. I don't like this one either. <sighs> So I'm, I'm getting upset with buying these dark lipsticks and they won't give you like an even application. You see that guys? It won't give you like, it's more sheer than anything. So I'm really upset about that. It should be like more pigmented and more strong to be that dark of a color. So it might be alright on a, maybe a darker skin person or over the top of a darker lipstick. But that's that, and I do not know the name of this, but I know it's from the Revlon Color Burst Collection. And it had, like, all the dark colors in there. And I actually got another one. Yeah, Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss. And I actually got the purple one from the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. And this is in the color Shameless. 215 shameless y'all this is giving me life i can't wait till the next day i'm off um so i can wear this and i'm gonna put this on and it's so matte and it's so pretty guys it is the bomb the bomb see that and i know the computer is giving off some blue but it's very very pretty and it goes on it's not like the other one just like um shellac like with the gloss in there it, it's not one that you got to keep building when you put it on it's there so i am thinking about going to get some more of these maybe like a deep red i think it'll be really pretty and that's it and that's in shameless from the red line uh color burst matte collection and then i picked up i was going to get the wet n wild balm lip gloss thing they were all sold out and i got the wet n wild wild shine matte top coat i see that it came out with a matte top coat and I was like, I don't know if they're not going to send it. may not work. So a long time ago, I was going to get the Essie matte top coat. But everybody went into matte. So I didn't get it. But I got it this time. It actually worked. Because I'm going to do some black stiletto nails. Half matte and half shiny. Um, Yeah, so I'm getting my little color wheel that I jacked up. 
if you guys could see that, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, if you can see the tip of it, it's matte and at the top it actually had a color on there if you're going to be able to see it. Can you see that? So it actually does work. It's a cheaper one that if you don't want to go and spend a lot of money, um, it does work and it does get matte. I wish I could have put it on a black or that's matte, guys. A color that you guys could really see. You guys are not going to be able to see that. Yeah, there you go. It's matte. And as you can see, it looks dark at the bottom because it's matte-like and then the color up here. So it does work for a dollar. And y'all, I'm smearing lip gloss all over my hand. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, these are all my little swatches for all my little stuff. And thank you guys for tuning in for this video. It's supposed to be short, and that has grown out to be 10 minutes, almost 11. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. And that's it for now, guys. And stay tuned. My Trader Joe's uh, first impression and haul should be up first before this one. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.